everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to do another watercolor activity. Yesterday, while I was out in my garden, I picked some lovely roses and I put them in this nice vase. And I thought it would be fun today to do a watercolor roses in a vase art activity. So you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, a marker, a watercolor palette, a paintbrush, a cup of water, and a paper towel for changing colors. So gather up those materials and come on back. Okay, so now we're a little bit closer. I hope everyone got these materials. And today I'm gonna to show you guys a really easy way to draw roses. So, let's start with our pencil. And the first thing we're going to draw is we're going to draw the vase that is going to hold our roses. So to make a vase, I'm going to go to the center of my paper. This is about the middle, right here. And I'm going to draw an ellipse or an oval. So this is my ellipse or an oval in the center. It's basically just like kind of a squished circle. Let me go over it with my marker so you guys can see. This is my ellipse. right there. Next I'm doing, next I am going to do the sides of the base. So I am going to draw one line down on each side. And again, I will go over with my marker. I'm going to do one line down on each side. And then I will connect it at the bottom. And I'm going back and forth between my pencil and my marker because if I make a mistake with my pencil, I can always erase it. And I've said it before, but if you fall behind and if you want to take more time on anything that we do, press pause on the video and then you can come back and pick up, okay? So now I'm going to connect the bottom of my base, just like that, just like that. Now I'm going to give my vase a table to sit on, because right now it looks like my vase is kind of just floating in the air. So to make a table, I'm going to just draw one line off of each side of my vase, and that's going to make it look like my vase is sitting on top of a table. Maybe it's at a dinner table, maybe it's at a coffee table, wherever you want your vase of flowers to be. So now I'm going to show you guys how to draw a very easy rose. So I'm gonna take my pencil and don't worry, we're gonna do this a couple times so you guys can follow along. I'm going to make a spiral. I'm gonna start anywhere up here is good. You can have a, as many roses up here as you want. I'm going to start on the side right here. So I'm going to make a spiral. To make a spiral, it's like making a circle that doesn't connect until it's as big as you want it. I want mine about that big. So let me go over it with my marker so you guys can see how I made a spiral. I started in the center and I start going around and around and around. And then I connected it at the top. And that is a spiral. Now to make it a rose, I'm going to go onto one side of my spiral and I'm going to go down and back up like the shape of a U. Like the shape of a U. And I'm going to bring my flower into my base. Just like that. And that's my rose. So I'm going to do a couple more roses. I'll do one rose right here, right next to it. Another big spiral. I'm going to make a U underneath it and put it in my base. If you want a tiny rose, you can do a tiny spiral. And then a tiny U. And then a line into the base. The line is going to be the stem. Now I'm going to do another spiral, another U, and a line down into my base. Okay, and we're just gonna keep doing this. We're gonna go over and over as many as you want. 
I'll do a big one right here. Spiral, U, align into the base. And then another one right here. Spiral, a U. And again, if I go, I'm not going to draw on top of my other roses. I'll just make a line behind them and then align into the base. Do another one, a couple small ones. I'm going to do a small one here. I'm going to do another small one right here. Make it look like it's coming off of this branch. Beautiful. Okay, and then I have lots of roses coming out of my base. I'm going to make sure all my stems are down here. My stems. And now I'm going to add leaves wherever I can fit any leaves. To make a leaf, you can just make a shape of a V, like a V shape, off of any of the lines. Okay? And those are my roses. Last, the vase that I have right here, I put a little bow around the front of it. So I thought maybe I would put a bow on the front of my base here too. So I'll put a little bow in front with my marker. And again, I'm doing it in marker right now just so you guys can see. I'm doing a bow. In the front. You don't have to put a bow in the front if you don't want to. If you want to do something else in the front, you're more than welcome. But now we are going to do our watercolors. Now we're going to fill all this in with beautiful color. So I have my watercolor palette. My water cup. I'm going to leave my water cup right here. And roses come in all different colors i've seen red roses white roses purple roses my roses that i have are like orange and yellow and kind of pink they're all different types of colors so i'm going to make my roses on my paper kind of look like the roses i have here so i'm going to get my paintbrush nice and wet and I think the color I'm going to start with is I will start with the yellow. And I'm just going to color in my roses. I'm going to paint on the inside of my roses. I'm going to start with yellow. And dip it back in the water. Paint with more yellow. More yellow. I think I'm going to color them all with yellow and then I will go over with other colors. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go over it with some orange because I see orange in my roses. And get some orange. If you don't have pink in your watercolor palette, that's fine. Use red. But mine has pink, so I'm going to use a little bit of pink. And I'm also going to add the pink to my roses. It looks pretty. some water. Beautiful. Beautiful flowers. 
love them. Yep, it's about that time of year right now. All my flowers in the front of my house are nice and bloomed in the spring. They look so pretty. So pretty. Beautiful. Okay, so those are my flowers. They look pretty good. Do they look similar? They do, they look pretty similar. All right. So now I'm going to paint my stems, the stems of my flower. So I'm going to use my green. I got my paintbrush nice and wet. I cleared it off with my paper towel. And now I'm going to use the green to paint my stems. So I'm just going to follow the lines that I've made with my green paint. And then I'm going to paint in the leaves that I've made as well. Okay. Do the same here. Follow it all the way down. And then I'm going to paint my leaves along the way. And follow my line. And paint the leaves along the way. go all the way into the water so I'm making sure I get it all the way down here all right so now I have painted my flowers and I have painted my stems next I'm going to paint I'm changing the color right now next I'm going to paint the water that is inside of my vase and I'm going to paint my water blue So I have painted my face. I'm changing my color because we know I don't like a white background. I'm going to decorate the around my flowers. So I'm going to paint my table. And my table at my house is brown. So I'm going to paint my table brown on the bottom. So I'm using my brown paint. And I'm going to paint my table brown. You can paint the table whatever color you want. Everything you can paint, whatever you want, whatever color. This is just the color I'm choosing. Yours doesn't have to look just like mine. Gotta get it to the brown really wet. The brown hasn't been used in a long time. I don't really use a lot of brown. all around. Table is basically all painted now. 
Make sure I get the top. And I'm trying my best to not go inside my lines. Because I don't want my water to be brown. Perfect. Okay, so I painted my table. And now you can paint the background whatever color you want. Maybe your flowers are outside. You can draw the sky, or you can paint the sky if you want. Maybe your flowers are inside. My flowers are going to be inside. So I'm going to paint my backdrop. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe I will paint my backdrop a nice. Maybe I will do a nice purple. I think I'll go with purple. Your background could be whatever color you want. And I do like purple. So I'm going to paint a background that's nice and purple. Or it could be multiple colors. Maybe I'll do a little bit of purple and a little bit of blue for my background. I don't know. It could be whatever color you want. Whatever color feels right to you. That's the color you should do. Oh, I'm dripping. So it's hard when I do it on the board, sometimes the water will drip. to not touch my flowers. I don't want my flowers to be messed up. I'm just going to go around. Try my best to not put my flowers. And if there's a little bit of white in between your flowers because you don't want to get your flowers dirty, that's all right too. Whatever you do is perfect. A little bit more purple. Beautiful. More here. And a little bit more in between my flowers, which I'm being really careful when I'm going in between my flowers. All right, and I think that's good. So this is oh, my watercolor flowers. Let's see, let's see if they look similar. Oh. Ta -da. And that was my inspiration for today. Okay, well I hope everyone was able to follow along with today's art activity. I hope everyone has a great weekend and I will see you next week.